hello and welcome back this is madan in this demo we are going to add pagination feature to our ASP.NET core mbc application pagination feature will really help us if we have large number of rows and uh, we want uh, only few of them to display in our views so for this i have created one github repository here in this url you can see this and uh, i have written some uh, boilerplate code here so we are going to use this code and uh, implement pagination feature in our application and here i have opened the application that we created that we used in our last demo of generic repository and uh, i have added uh, <coughs> a view to display the record of a student and create the new student uh, on that application so what we are going to do is we are going to add pagination to this application and uh, we will see the effect of that here so let's go to our github repository and let's read what it says it says that we need to create a pagination underscore cshtml partial page and put that code here so i'm going to copy this code let's copy this code and let's go over here and i'm going to create the pagination partial view inside the share folder so let's go pagination.cshtml and let's paste this code here let's save this and let's uh, hop over to our github repository again and uh, second part it says we need to create the base controller and add this method to our base controller so let's copy this let's go over and i'm going to create a base controller uh, i'm going to create a use base controller because we are going to share the record for this uh, for the pagination among all the controllers so we define this method once and uh, we will be able to use this method uh, from any controller if we inherit the, that controller from our base controller so to make our code reusable i'm going to create a base controller here yes base UNTR, and then the controller that's yes so once we add pagination feature to one of the action in our M controller then we can use the same code to apply pagination feature to any numbers of controllers and views so let's create a base controller and uh, Let's give it a name space of generic report demo dot controllers this controller name space g n e r i c r e p o d e m o dot controllers public class and the base u n t r l n r controller and this class will be inheriting from the controller base class u n t r controller base class let's bring up the namespace here and then let's have already copied this let's copy this again control c and then clear this method here so i'm going to format the code a little bit and then let's bring in the required namespace here oops namespace here and uh, this method will be used for uh, different kinds of models to paginate the results so i have created this method as a generic method so to work we need to pass this t as a parameter to our base controller so our base controller let's make our base controller a generic controller t controller where t is a class so let's bring in this namespace for the skip which is under system.link and our base controller is ready to work now and after that we need to go over to our uh, particular controller where we want to apply the pagination feature and rather than inheriting it from the controller we are gonna we are gonna inherit this from our base controller class so base controller class base controller us base cntr ll base controller and since this controller is for our student and we are going to pass a student as a parameter let's bring the name is space and 
once we do that we can use that method to paginate our results so again let's go over and uh, in order to paginate the results uh, we need to pass the page number from our view so let's add this parameter to our index action so let's say int page equals one and this represents the first page and then uh, once we uh, get the record from our database then we are going to apply pagination to that result so let's copy this and then put it here so paginated result equals paginated results and rather than here we have to pass our uh, list of students and then page and number of uh, rows that we want to display in our view so 10 here means that we are going to display 10 rows in one view of course you can change this to any number you like say you can change this to 20 or 5 or whatever you like and now our paginated result is ready and we need to pass this paginated result to our view after that what we need to do is we need to call we need to use our pagination partial view into the view where we want our pagination so let's copy this and then i'm going to use pagination to the index view of the student so let's go over to the student index and then i'm going to paste it here so here the 10 means that the number of rows we want to display so if you give here 10 in the controller then we have to give the same numbers here so what this pagination what this 10 does is whenever we call the pagination.cshtml partial file the 10 value 10 number 10 is passed to that partial file and based on that number the partial page generates the button for us so with this let's run our application i'm gonna go over to the browser and refresh once and so far no errors now we only have seven rows now let's add a few rows from here slash new and then let's give a student one student student one and uh, let's say student 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 one one last name let's save it and uh, let's again create a new student new student 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 two std two last name let's create another student here student slash new and then std three and here we give std three last name and then let's create another student again new std4 std4 last name and here we go once we reach the uh, number of rows that we specified in our views then we'll see our pagination now we have two pages totals of 11 records 10 in one page and if i press 2 then we see the 11 on the second page now we can go to the previous next and previous so this is how we add pagination feature in our MBC demo application in our MBC application. So you can go over to this repository and uh, study, download and study the code used here. And of course, feel free to modify the code as per your need. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.